Mbeta lawmaker Emilio Ziambo Mabona has introduced legislative proposals that aim to regulate the use of assisted reproductive technologies to help individuals that have challenges conceiving due to infertility. If the proposals are approved by the National Assembly, they will be published in the Kenya Gazette as a bill. The proposals criminalizes any form of human uh, cloning through fertilization in a laboratory dish or test tube. Now, KTN's Patrick Amimo tells us more. Because there's no legislative framework. That Milo Odiambo is making a third attempt at putting a law in place that will regulate rights and obligations relating to test tube babies and of children fertilized in a laboratory dish. In 2014, the National Assembly passed the bill. However, the Senate never debated Odiambo's bill, saying a similar bill by former Senator Judith Sijenyi was before the Senate. Sijenyi's bill flopped. In 2014, High Court Judge David Majanja challenged Parliament to set up a legal and ethical framework to govern surrogacy after he ruled that surrogacy is not a hypothetical issue anymore. We have had cases where people borrow wombs and uh, they have uh, challenges <coughs> later because when somebody carries a baby for nine months, they become used to, 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 to the baby and they don't want to let go. And people are hiring wombs and pay. Kenya's first ever test of baby celebrated their 12th birthday May this year. Their mothers received in vitro fertilization at the Nairobi IVF clinic owned by gynecologist and obstetrician Dr. Joshua Nore. The clinic charges 300,000 shillings for one IVF treatment when the egg and sperm are from the couple. The clinic has delivered more than 2,000 babies since 2006. The last time I met the caucus, this caucus of women who are struggling with childlessness, uh, I, one of them told me that uh, for every round of uh, of, of process she undertook. She paid in Kenya 300,000 and she had done about three of them, so she'd spent about a million. Many women and men also who are suffering because they don't have children and they can agree with their wife. Instead of <coughs> just going kind of behind my back, let's go and visit this facility. We know we are going to get help. Mili Odiampo's proposals also address ethical concerns. For instance, it says that a person shall not place in a woman an embryo other than a human embryo. It also states that no person shall obtain a sperm or ovum from a donor under 18 years of age. It also criminalizes any forms of assisted reproductive technology for experimental purposes aimed at modifying the human race or any form of human cloning. If you don't control that, people will do research. They can start mixing it with uh, baboon embryos. Technology can now enable us to do so many things. So you if the proposals are published into a bill and later enacted by parliament, Test tube babies shall have the same legal rights under the Constitution or any other written law as that of a child born through sexual intercourse. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.